How was that enthusiasm? And a solid ground of enthusiasm. The life, the love, the order, the will, the zeal, the enthusiasm, the imagination, the power, the strength that is here. As you, in you, within you. We pray in consciousness, we pray in atonement, at one moment. We pray aligned with the reality of the one power and the one presence. That is all that is. And that has its being through us as us. Aligned with our own divinity and our divine rights. We thank you today. We open this beautiful, beautiful time of glory. With the prayerful hearts, joyous hearts, and dedicating this time and space and the way to lifting and elevating and catapult, a catapult of consciousness, a catapult of awakening, exponentially lifted as we receive and dedicating our lives to being that blessing here on the earth. And so it is. Okay, what's next? <laughs> it says vision, mission, vision, and values. So which is it? Okay. Want to sing? Let's sing. Experience it as you sing.
morning, everyone. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. This next song is about, we all know this, I mean, the title says so. Every day, every day we wake up, we have choices to make. And every day is brand new. We don't worry about the past, we don't think about the future, we just think about today. And we have different paths to choose, and we choose the right one most of the time. So, please move on. Peace. 
okay. The most happy people with their anniversaries and their birthdays. So now it's time for announcements. However, joke, joke. It's joke time too. Okay, two little short ones. A Sunday school teacher was telling her class the story of the Good Samaritan. So she asked the class, if you saw a person lying on the roadside, all wounded and bleeding, what would you do? And a thoughtful little girl broke the hushed silence and said, I think I'd throw up. <laughs> okay, the same Sunday school teacher asked, she shouldn't be doing this stuff. Johnny, do you think Noah did a lot of fishing when he was on the ark? No, replied Johnny. How could he with just two worms? <laughs> okay. Now we'll get down to business. A very big thank you to Linda Turberg for her idea on a most successful reverse travel. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, Andy, and all the team leaders seeking to organize the greeting. You know, <laughs> all of them, they helped with this, this event. It was a big thing, too, because I was there. But I didn't win the $10,000. <laughs> From the volunteer corner, we are seeking a team leader to organize the greeting team and ushers the first Sunday of every month. Also, we are developing a host program for Unity sponsored programs that take place evenings and weekends. There are only a few every year. First we need a leader for the team and then we will gather the team members. Share love with others. On March 26th, our members will deliver nearly two hundred stuffed animals to residents of local assisted living facilities. We need 90 more stuffed animals by Sunday, March the 20th. Y'all do it, I know you will. Here's a reminder of our new thought activities this week. Today, 1145, join Martha Creek in integrating the work, living in joy, a simple and deeply transformative process that helps people around the world approach problems from a perspective of clarity and inner peace. And this is, right here is our lady. <laughs> Monday, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., bless your water. 9 a.m. is A Course of Miracles. 10.45 is Historical Jesus. 7 p.m. is the Rachel Taboo movie, and discussion at Ewers Century Center, 3001 Southwest College Road in Ocala. Come and explore how together we can break the chains of racism through education, dialogue, and relationships. Tuesday, March 8th, 7 p.m. is Crystal Bowl Meditation. Join Marcy McAllister in guided meditation using Crystal Bowls to help you get to that quiet, still place. Everyone is welcome, and there is a low offering. 9.30 is A Course of Miracles. Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. is a board meeting. 12 noon, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is a planetary heart meditation. James Twyman and Unify.org will join 3.5 million people in New Delhi, India, during World Culture Festival in, to focus one of the largest synchronized meditations in history. Think of that. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., please come to our psychic fair. We will have readers, vendors, a raffle drawing with prizes, and a 50-50 with one winner. I think we still need people to help, do we need? Oh, we do. No, we, we still don't. need people to help. You will like them to sign up in the... Yeah, we have a, a couple of clipboards. Okay, oh, you're going to get it. It's going to come through. Okay. This coming Saturday, March 12th, before you go to bed, remember to turn your clocks ahead one hour. Spring forward. 
Next Sunday, March 13, 11.45 a.m. is a membership meeting to vote on the Fruitland Park property. Whoa. 12.15, please come to a legacy workshop. Love yourself and your loved ones by having your legal documents complete. Now, Sonny Bard will say a few words, and then the prayer chaplain will read the daily word in the power of the month, and we'll bless our prayer box. Hey, this is the right, right size for a change. I wanted to give you an update on the uh, Hug a Bear project. Uh, for those who don't know what it is, because I see a few faces that may not have been here on the 14th when I talked about it, this is part of our outreach committee. And every year we uh, ask you to bring in an animal. And you sit for three weeks and you hold it and bless it and love it. And we give it to um, the memory care facilities in the area. So that's what the Hug a Bear program is all about. Now this update is that we have uh, four facilities that we're going to. And uh, they were very receptive. So they are Mission Oaks, that's in Oxford. The Springs of Lady Lake, and that's on Griff Griffin Avenue. Lexington Park Memory Care in Lady Lake. And uh, Sumter Place on 466A. So there will be four uh, teams who will be going to these places. And each team will go to only one facility. And the teams, we need four people at least. I'm not sure um, how many people have signed up, but we need... For the four teams, we need four people each. The times will be 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 2.30 p.m., and 3.30 p.m. And uh, I see kind of a lot of empty seats without animals on it, so we need you to bring in some more animals, please. And for those who have already brought them in, thank you very much. Sunday morning to everyone. My name is Dorothy. We're so pleased that everyone is here this morning. I'm the prayer chaplain for today. And the word for today is a life of prayer. And I'm reading from Unity's Daily Word, which is a book you can purchase in the bookstore after services, or you can order online from unity.org. And the message for today is, my life is prayer in action. Think deeply about that. My life is prayer in action. Unity author James Dillett Freeman wrote, prayer is a reaching and every act of prayer stretches my soul. I can stretch my soul by beginning and ending my day with times, with quiet times of prayer, reflection, and thanksgiving. Gratitude is real big for me. In between, I observe expressions of the divine in nature and in the kindness of others. I set an intention to be a blessing wherever I am. These are acts of prayer and expressions of my divine nature. I acknowledge the presence and power of spirit within. Breathing deeply, I give thanks for divine light that guides me. I recognize the pure life that nourishes and energizes every cell of my body. I open to divine ideas and creative ways to use them. I see myself enfolded in a circle of love and peace. My life is prayer in action. And from Corinthians, I will pray with the spirit, but I will pray with the mind also. Please join me in saying the affirmation. 
My understanding of truth begins and directs my life. <clears throat> and we, this morning starts March. We're also talking about the spiritual power of the month, <coughs> which is understanding. And it is reflected in the beautiful gold color of our banner this morning, as well as in the beautiful gold tapestry. The center of understanding is located at the front of the brain. And understanding is the ability to know, perceive, comprehend, and apprehend. Understanding is represented by Mary of Bethany and the disciple Thomas. And I strongly encourage you to see the movie Risen. The disciple Thomas is reflected in the movie. I saw it yesterday. It is a beautiful, wonderful movie about the Easter season. And disciple Thomas is in there as well. More than anything else, Mary of Bethany loved to sit quietly and peacefully at the feet of Jesus and became lost in his unfolding of the truth. Thomas didn't always have spiritual understanding, but he wanted to learn. He didn't mind asking questions, and he listened to Jesus' answers. Jesus gave him the teaching, I am the way and the truth and the light. Please join me in saying the affirmation. My understanding of truth deepens and directs my life. Now we'll bless the prayer box. Lord, we lift up the hearts and minds of all those whose names are represented here in the prayer box this morning. We ask for your patience, your compassion, and your mercy be showered upon them abundantly so that they may truly feel all of your love and oneness with you, in you, and through you. May they feel whole in body, mind, and spirit. May they always come to you and be part of you in the oneness of God's love, abundance, compassion, and mercy. This we give thanks. Thanks be to God. Amen. And all the prayer chaplains in service this morning, would you please stand? <coughs> we have Steve, we have Mary Lou, we have no, Kay, we have Sandy, we have Nancy, and myself. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How many of you uh, volunteer, do things for volunteer right now? Uh, see, almost everybody in the room, that, that's amazing. That's really part of my big story today. Um, I came to the villages uh, about eight years ago, and this last year has been amazing. My mom died one year ago. Uh, she came with me, and uh, we had a really wonderful time together. But since she's been gone, I joined Unity. And I've gotten involved with um, some spiritual classes. And I've um, also uh, been very involved in things in the neighborhoods, you know. So, uh, anyways, this last year has been full of love, compassion, and nourishment. And I wanted to explain why that means so much to me right now. Um, about 20 years ago, I had a really good job in a university. And I had a granddaughter that was diagnosed with a very rare disability. Um, and I never had anybody with a disability in my family, ever, so I had no idea what to deal with this. Um, has anybody in this room ever heard of prader willi syndrome? Okay. It's a very tough disability because um, Jessica is now 24, and she, um, she can't eat much food. She's hungry all the time, and she can never feel full. And consequently, her uh, disability is a death sentence if she gains weight really a tough time. And so I joined the national organization 
the state of New York's organization. I became president, I became webmaster, I became uh, board of directors. I've done everything I could possibly do for that syndrome, and I still do. I'm uh, big in New York State's uh, organization. I, I still work for the national. Then, besides that, my own self. Uh, I've always had trouble with my own weight. So I gained and lost probably 100 pounds at least 20 times in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so I can really empathize with what she went through or what she goes through every day. But this last year has been amazing. So I became the new driver coordinator for the Wildwood Soup Kitchen. Okay, so now I manage all the people that do home deliveries, the people that are really needy around Wildwood. And to me, this has been an eye-opener. I mean, it's been wonderful. Um, through this last six months I've been doing this, um, I've become very familiar with the people we serve and the wonderful volunteers that go out and deliver the food. But also, I, just the last few weeks, I found out that the food pantry in Wildwood would like to start doing home delivery of groceries. Well, they thought the best people to deliver to would be the ones that already get the hot meal from the soup kitchen. So they contacted me. And so I worked with them directly. I went out and interviewed some of the most neediest people in Wildwood. Wow, it's really an eye-opener to see. Anyways, I went out there and I picked seven people. And Friday I delivered with my with somebody I know, we went out and delivered seven uh, sets of groceries to people. It was wonderful. And it, I just felt like the, it was so good that we worked together with this. But I wrote to the people in the pantry and I said, there's some people that don't have stoves, they don't have refrigerators. One guy has a bad back and he has no bed. They're sleeping on a couch. Uh, it was just sad. Well, she wrote back to me in an email and she said, you were here at Bargains and Blessings in Wildwood. Well, I had never heard of that. So she told me to call Margaret, and I called Margaret, this is like last week, <laughs> and Margaret said uh, that she would get the beds and the stove and the refrigerator for all the people that I was on my route. So to me it was amazing. So to end this, I'd like to say Mark Twain had a really good quote. He said that there's only two important days in your life, the day you're born and the day you find out why. 